Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to be working on the bike, getting it ready to go for a track day. A friend of mine invited me to Red Star Raceway for an open day on the track. Um, the classes that's going to be raced is A, which is uh, pros, B, which is semi-pros, C, which is amateurs, and then D, which is beginners. Um, we'll have to see how many D-class riders there are. I might ride in C. This is my first time going on the track, so very, very excited for that. Uh, don't know what to expect, but very, very excited about it. Uh, to, to start with the track day prep, we're going to be taking the mirrors off because on the track we shouldn't be looking behind, it's ahead of you. So we're going to take the mirrors off, put the sliders back on, and then I've made a solution for the axles. Uh, I'll show you in the next bit. Let's get cracking. This is just the protection I'm going to be installing. It's the old RNG bar sliders or bar in sliders. I'm going to be putting them back on. Um, I've got some stainless steel threaded rod that I've put some heat shrink on. Um, that's the front axle, the rear axle, stainless steel nut washers, and then some skateboard wheels that uh, were once upon a time blue. I just spray painted them black. Um, this is just extra protection so that in the event that, you know, if you come off, it protects your ends of the forks and your swing arms. Let's install them. Off. Gonna put the, the RNG bar in on. To do the bits on the front axle, I've grabbed a um, threaded rod with a sleeve on it. I've got one nut, one washer, one wheel. I'm going to put that on there. Washer. And the nut. I'm going to hold the threaded rod just to get the tibat into the nylon side. There we go, you can see there. Same thing other side, just gonna put the, the wheel on, washer, and then thread the nut, uh, the nut. To do the back was a little bit different. I had to get uh, more washers. I'm not sure if you can see in the video, but the swing arm sticks out more than the end of the axle. So what I had to do there was just add in some washers to give us some spacing off there. So to do that, it was the same sort of process. We did washers, wheel, and then uh, a nylon lock nut. And there we thought, yeah, no wiggles. Okay, just to go through all the bits and bobs that we've done, um, I did the skateboard wheels i spray painted them black i'm using stainless steel threaded rod in the middle with some heat shrink over it and stainless steel nuts i took the wing mirrors off 
So we've done, I put the orangey bar in uh, the sliders back on. Um, that's just in case, you know, in case we come off, don't want to damage mirrors. And besides, we don't need mirrors on the track. You should be looking ahead of you, not behind you. And then the skateboard wheels on the back. What these do is, in case that wears down, this is just an extra bit to, to protect the swing arm um, from being road grazed. Um, so yeah, that's that done. The last thing, or second last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check our oil level. And then we'll go through and check our brake fluids. Check oil level, I need to take it off the paddock stand. And then once the bike is level, I'm just going to put the lipstick back in and then pull it out the, on the top arm, on our top oil mark. So oil's in the right level. Put that back up, tighten it, wipe my floor. <laughs> And then last thing is brake fluids. If I look here at the brake level, we are below the upper, above the lower level, and then we'll check the rear, below the upper, above the lower. So levels are good. So there we go, all the bits and bobs that I wanted to fit. In getting ready for the track day. Hopefully everything goes fine, I'm sure it will. Thank you so much for watching uh, to the end of the video. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, it really does help grow the channel and uh, allow me to make better content, better and more content. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it.